discussion on device linking. Device linking is a really important concept uh, to understand because device linking allows customers to create connections between network edge devices, either in the same metro, uh, in the same pod even, or, or across metro. So, so I want to make sure you have a good understanding of device linking because it, it's really a, a well-used feature that a lot of customers, uh, a lot of customers really want to use. So, so let's talk about device linking uh, in general. What it is. So, a device linking group is created when you want to when you want to connect two network edge devices together. So, device linking is an overall concept, and then you create DLGs or device link groups. And device link groups are applied at the interface level, not at the not at the device level. So, because it's applied at the interface level, it allows you to build very flexible topologies. So, for example, say uh, this was the Chicago Metro, and this is the Dallas Metro. And if a customer had spun up two network edge devices and they wanted to connect Chicago to Dallas, they would create a device link group from Chicago to Dallas. And it would connect across the fabric like that. So these connections are going across the ECX fabric. And say they wanted a 100 meg connection. So they would have a 100 meg connection connecting Chicago and Dallas all across the ECX fabric configured uh, using a device link group. And again, the device link group is done at the interface level. So say this is gig, uh, gig three. We'll just make it gig three on this side as well. So that's a very simple device link group where I've linked a network edge device in Chicago and Dallas across the fabric. Now, what you can do as well is you can build out a LAN topology. So this would be more of a WAN connection. You know, again, they want to connect Intermetro, they want to connect Chicago to Dallas. But so say for example, here I've got a connection, and this is a firewall, and this connection goes out to a cloud provider. This might be Azure, for example. And then over here in Dallas, uh, there's another firewall here, and they want to have a connection out to uh, AWS. So, so they want to move some uh, data from Azure to AWS or across our fabric, and they want to secure it with, with a firewall, with a VNF, a different VNF. So, so in this case, this might be a CSR, just a regular Cisco router. Here, and this might be a Palo Alto firewall. So what I want to do is, is I want to take this WAN connection and uh, join the LAN infrastructure in, or, or equivalent of a LAN infrastructure in, on both sides of the equation. So, so what I would do in that case is I would create another device link group here, another device link group here. And I might want you know larger bandwidth. So across this one, I'll set this to a one gig circuit speed and or a one gig connection from the firewall to the router. So I've created so right now I've created basically a, a an entire network, and then here this firewall is going to uh, create a connection to Azure over Express Route, for example. This firewall is going to create a connection to AWS over Direct Connect, for example. So I've got a, you know, a, let's say a database over here and a database over here at AWS, and I want to replicate traffic between the two. So this is how I can build out a complete topology to allow data to be replicated from Azure all the way across to AWS using device link groups to connect network edge devices. So again, Here's one device link group connecting Intermetro between Chicago and Dallas. And this is a device link group to connect these two network edge devices within the same metro. Same way in Dallas, uh, or same way in Dallas here, this CSR is going to connect to this PAN device. So the, the, the way that the DLGs work is it uh, it creates layer two adjacencies. So that's all it does. It puts some number of interfaces in the same broadcast domain. So in this case, Gig3 uh, on the CSR in Chicago, Gig3 on the CSR in Dallas, they become part of the same broadcast domain. I put those two interfaces in the same device link group, and then I establish uh, peering over those interfaces. So I can route traffic back and forth.
And also, I do the same thing here with these device link groups where I take these interfaces, put them in the same broadcast domain, and I build a layer three connection for appearing there. Same thing here, I build a layer three connection for appearing here. And that's in essence what device link groups are. Uh, device link groups can get a bit complicated. I find the best way to deal with device link groups is break the individual components down. So build a LAN connection out. In this case, I needed a, a one DLG to connect Chicago and Dallas, get that up and running. I need a DLG here to connect the, the router and the firewall in Chicago. Same thing here. So build a device link group here, get the WAN established, device link group here, get the uh, uh, network case device and network case device established here. Same over here. And then once all this has been established, it just becomes a matter of sharing routes across this whole construct because what I've done here is, so uh, see for example, this, this virtual network in Azure, this could be 10.100.0.0, .0 .0, slash 16. And then this VPC in AWS could be 10.200.0.0 slash 16. And because I'm peering and, and I've got you know, multiple routes and peering relationships established between my devices here, I'm just going to learn the routes across this device link group and device link groups that I've created so I can pass traffic from this device to this device or between these two networks. And that's how device links uh, work. Again, device linking is the overall concept of how you do it. Device link groups are the constructs to where you take the interfaces, put them in the groups that you need to establish a layer two adjacency between the respective network edge devices. And again, the network edge devices can be across metros or within the same metros that you're going to establish a layer two adjacency over so you can build layer three pairing over the top. So that's how device linking works.